Hello dear colleagues, how are you today? I hope you are well. Here we are going to explain another question of cardiology. A 59 years old man returns for routine follow-up six weeks following a myocardial infarction. He complains of breathlessness when walking uphill. His ECG shows ST elevation in leads V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5. What is the single most likely explanation for the abnormal finding? A. Heart attack. B. Right ventricular scan. C. Art arterial thrombose. D. Left ventricular aneurysm. E. Dressler syndrome. Okay, here we have a patient uh, is coming six weeks after a myocardial infarction. And his chief complaint is breathlessness when walking uphill. And in his ECG, we can see uh, ST elevation in leads V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. And the most likely diagnosis here is left ventricular aneurysm. And here we are going to explain it. The two closest options here are left ventricular aneurysm and Dressler's syndrome. One needs to understand them for the exam. Left ventricular aneurysm is usually a complication resulting from a myocardial infarction. As we can see in this patient, is coming six weeks, six weeks after a myocardial infarction. When the cardiac muscle partially dies during a myocardial infarction, a layer of muscle may survive and being severely weakened starts to become an aneurysm. It usually presents four to six weeks post myocardial infarction, which fits this stem and ECG shows persistently raised ST segments. Okay, in Dressler syndrome, uh, Dressler syndrome is a secondary form of pericarditis that occurs post myocardial infarction also, but it usually presents one week post myocardial infarction, but may also occur several months after a myocardial infarction. Clinical features consist of fever, pleuritic chest pain, pericardial and prolar effusion in Dressler syndrome. The pleuritic pain is usually the main complaint in the patients coming with Dressler syndrome. As we can see from the presenting symptoms of the patient, a left ventricular aneurysm fits best. Okay, ventricular aneurysm. Usually, complications resulting from a myocardial infarction. When the cardiac muscle partially dies during a myocardial infarction, a large or a layer of muscle may survive and being severely weakened starts to become an aneurysm. In ECG, okay, presentations. In ECG, we can see persistently raised ST segments on ECG and um, and left ventricular failure. Okay, as we can see here in this ECG, we can see ST elevation in leads V1, V2, V3, and V3. Okay, uh, in chest X ray, this is uh, pathognomic for ventricular aneurysm when the patient is coming with widespread uh, ST elevations in. Uh, leads V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, uh, we can, uh, and especially if it's post myocardial infarction, six weeks, uh, two to six weeks post myocardial infarction, we must think about ventricular aneurysm. Okay, chest x ray. In chest x ray, we can see cardiomegaly with an abnormal bulge in the left heart border. As we can see in this ECG, we, uh, we can see here uh, an abnormal bulge at the left heart border of the patient and this is showing a when left ventricular aneurysm in the left side of the uh, patient's uh, chest. Okay, here we in this chest x-rays also we can see left ventricular aneurysm which is showing an abnormal bulge at the left heart border. This patient is also using ICD or peacemaker. Okay. <clears throat> In echo, we can see para paradoxical movement of ventricular wall and thrombos may form within the aneurysm, increasing the risk of stroke. And this is important. Maybe the patients come with the chief, chief complaint 
or strokes, meaning stroke, brain stroke, cardiac stroke, or any parts of the body which their embody can push there. It was a short explanation about the patients coming after six weeks after MI with the complaint, chief complaint of breathlessness when walking uphill with the diagnosis of left ventricular aneurysm. Thank you for your attention.